Welcome to Monday's mini pocket painting. I'll always love you. Now this pocket painting is a little bit bigger than our normal size. It is a five and a half by five and a half. It's two sweet owls surrounded by a heart of flowers. And the very first thing that I do is I take a little bit of black and I go into the pupil of each of the owl's eyes and I leave a little bit of the white of the paper showing so that we can have a little highlight in there. And I'm taking a little orange and just painting in their little beaks. So cute, so cute, so cute. Now I'm just taking some more of that, um, it's sort of a brownie orange color and painting in the iris of their eyes. Right around that pupil, make sure the pupil is dry first. You don't want the black to sort of bleed into you into the little golden brown color that you put for those eyes. And I'm using a, like a zero zero brush, a really small pointed brown, really tiny. And I'm just putting those irises in right underneath that pupil. I'm adding a little bit of yellow to, right at the bottom part just to give it a little golden color. Now I'm just taking the black and sort of outlining the top part of his eyes and I apologize for the blur my camera automatically tries to focus on whatever is in the center of the viewer and it doesn't go like this the whole time it stops doing this blurry thing so just bear with it for a few more and now we have his his eyes outlined I'm just adding a little bit more color right around to the bottom edge of his his um, pupils and I mean his iris and just adding a little darker orange around the side of their beaks just to give it a little shadow and that's just a mixture of um, New Gamboge and Scarlet Pyrrole that orange is but if you have tube orange or whatever orange you have just use that now I'm um, filling in her iris with that same sort of golden brown color, her two irises. And I've given her some little eyelashes just to make her look a little more feminine. And I just put a little, a little eyelash flutter at the end. Next up, we are gonna go ahead and paint sort of around the eyes and I'm just using a really pale pale creamy yellow I'm just painting that that area right around each eye and it looks really pretty I like that almost looks makes him look like he has huge glasses on and we're gonna do the same thing for hers I'm letting hers be a little bit darker just so that they have a little bit of difference in them just changing it up a little bit so it's the same color it's just a little more pigment a little less water so it's a little more concentrated so hers is, looks a little darker same color though and I'm just taking some brown and you can use whatever sort of red brown you have on your palette and a little bit of a darker brown because that's going to be sort of our shadow work or our detail work that darker brown but I'm just going to go ahead first and I'm just going to lay down a wash of this sort of uh, reddish brown all over his face around his eyes And then we're going to make sure it goes down his wings as well. Let's do her first. Get her little forehead and head done first. She's looking so cute. She, she looks a little flirty to me. They're probably going out to Red Lobster tonight. Who knows? She's, she's definitely scheming on getting something out of him, I tell you. Look at those flirty eyes. Now we're just going to take that darker brown and paint in the wings. Just a nice wash over the wings. We don't have to make this too complicated. We're, we're going more for sweet and cute rather than complicated and realistic. And just painting in their little tail feathers here underneath the branch. And I'm just making marks for those. It's nothing, nothing difficult. This is 
probably one of the easier easier ones just do it step by step it's not a big not a big issue there's not a lot of complication in here I'm taking that same color that I used around the eyes of each and it's really really diluted it's got a lot of water in it so it's a much paler yellow but it's the same yellow as the area around both owls eyes just even more water added to it so it's really diluted so it's really a pale pale creamy yellow and I'm doing both of their chests with that color <clears throat> they're coming right along now now I've mixed up some black I took some alizarin crimson a little bit of um, um, French ultramarine blue and a little bit of new gamboge mixed it all together to make sort of a black mixture I, I did add a little bit of sepia too not much sepia but I got this sort of black mixture this really dark it's really a dark purpley blue but it looks black when you paint it on so that's what we're going with for our black because I don't know what I did with my lamp black tube of paint so we're just mixing our own blacks easy to do I'm just gonna add some markings coming right down from his pointy they're not actually his ears but from his little pointy horns on top of his head his ears are actually on the side of his head Now I'm taking a little bit of that darker brown and a little bit of the black mixture together. So it's not quite black, it's more of a dark brown and um, painting the rest around his eyes toward that, toward his beak. And then we're just going to add some just marks, some just little random marks to indicate feathers on each one of his wings and her wings too. But let's, let's stay with him for one second. And that looks pretty good. And let's make some markings right on his top of his little head too. Just sort of like feather markings. And again, we're not making him realistic. We're just making him cute. So it doesn't have to actually ma match what an actual owl looks like. We're not going for that. We're going for cute. And I think we are achieving some serious cuteness with these two little owls. If I do say so myself. Now we, while she's scheming on getting him some to take her to Red Lobster tonight, we're going to finish up his little, some shadows on his tail and stuff and put some little shadows around his face, right by his beak and right on the outer, outer edges of his eyes. I mean, if he's going to go to Red Lobster tonight, he has to be looking good. So we, we're hooking him up here. We're making making him look as handsome as possible. I'm taking some of that same yellow mixture that we did the, around the eyes and around their chests. It's less dilute. It's got more pigment, less water. And we're just drawing some like little upside, I mean some little U's. They're not even upside down, but just some little U's right across his chest and down his tummy just to indicate feathers. I think that is is like the universal sign for feathers or scales is that little U shape. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go with that. We're going to keep it simple. We're not trying to get too fancy. And I think he's looking pretty cute. Let's put in some more of that orange, same orange that we used for his beak. You want to just put it on his little toesies down here. He's holding on to that branch while she's leaning into him scheming on getting him to take her out I think he's I think he's weakening I, th I think he's he's getting weak he's gonna do it and I'm just making the top part of her eye area a little bit darker sort of like some maybe eyeshadow I don't know I just made it a little darker because I felt like it and I'm taking that dark brown and giving her some feather like markings on her little wings on both of them so cute and putting some shadows on her little tail we got her we gotta have her looking good too I mean if he's gonna take her out in spring for a fancy dinner or sort of fancy fancy for these two anyway and she's got to be looking her best too she got a little makeup on on her, the above her eyes she's getting all of her little eyebrows painted in with some of that black mixture putting the little cheeks on 
going around with the black mixture with just some tiny little marks putting some markings on her ears or her horns fluffing up those eyelashes she's got some false eyelashes on i just know it i just know she does so and now we're putting a little eyeliner on her okay she is getting ready for a date she's gonna be looking pretty hot for an owl adding some shadows right by her beak and a little bit on the outer edge of her eyes just like i did on the on the boy owl and again with a little bit thicker mixture of that yellow that we used on their chest we're just going to do those U's all across their chest just to indicate some little feathers she got some little feathers on her tummy and we're just going to keep putting those in and working our way down getting her dressed shoot he might even spring for dessert she's getting so looking so pretty he might say shoot i gotta i gotta make this this owl happy. I'm going to get her some dessert. Get her some cheesecake or something. And we're going to make her little feet orange too, just like their beak. It looks a little paler orange than because it's got a lot more water in it than the beak orange did. But that's okay. And then we'll just add some little shadows just to separate their toes from each other. Oh, they are just adorable. They are so cute. Now I'm going to take this um, this little heart shape that we have around them because you know it's getting close to Valentine's and I'm all in the Valentine mood. The last few minis were sort of love related and I'm just making some roses just some sort of messy I call them messy roses. You're just doing sort of a spirally swirl a broken spiral in the middle and then you're just expanding the little strokes out as you go and you can add even more water as you get close you know further out from the center of the rose so that the center is darker and the outer part is a lot lighter you can also go back in there and add a little darker color right to the center of the rose just to if you really want to darken it up so that's what we're doing we're going to build some roses up here and you see it's just really squiggles a lot of squiggles going in sort of a spiral circle circular shape it's nothing fancy we're not trying to make a, you know a rose a real rose we just want to get a get one that just you know gives an indication if whenever you anyone looks at it they're gonna know that's a rose so i'm not going to show you every rose and every flower i painted so I'm just going to show you the basic flowers that I painted and then you're going to do the rest of it on your own. But I got some new gamboge and I started doing sort of some daisy-like shapes around the roses. And, you know, just sort of clustering them together. Nothing fancy. I'm going to do it on both sides of the roses. Those little new gamboge daisy shapes that's what i'm calling them they're daisy shapes and i'm also taking a little bit of that orange from the beak and, and just dropping it into the center so the center will be a little bit darker than the rest of the flower and just gives it a little bit more interest i think and i'm just sort of filling out this heart shape just filling it out as i go around with flowers and just sort of there's no really rhyme or reason I'm just really trying to take up the space and overlap a few of them again not trying to make realistic flowers we're just making it giving an indication of flowers and I got some thalo blue and I decided to do sort of a I don't know what this flower is it's it's an imaginary flower but if I had to guess it'd be sort of like a blue bonnet or a delphinium flower so i want to go ahead and put those in so those are the basic flowers that we're going to do around around the heart and what you want to do is alternate them in clusters because i'm not going to show you every flower i'm just showing you these this one side that i've done and you can alternate these types of flowers all the way around the heart so that it has sort of a uniform a uniform look at the end It'll have plenty of pink roses, plenty of yellow daisies, and plenty of blue fluffy flowers. All right, so once you get all of those done, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up here. I was adding a little bit of dark 
color to those roses. Now I'm going to finish it with one of those blue delphiniums or blue bonnets, whatever you want to call it. It's just a just an imaginary flower. And then I'm going to just take some of that blue and sort of dot around just to um, unify the heart so that that blue is throughout and it just sort of brings the heart together, you know, in a cohesive look, sort of. Since we have three distinct colors, pink, blue, and yellow, so we're going to just sort of dab that blue around to kind of bring everything together. Now I'm going to paint in his branch, and I'm just taking some of that dark brown and some of that um, dark black mixture I, I created, and just going right across that branch. Nothing fancy, we're just painting it in solid, and then at the very bottom, picking up some of that black and dropping it in while it's wet so it looks like a shadow at the bottom. Nothing too fancy. Now I'm going to mix up some phthalo blue and a little bit of Hansa yellow so that we have a nice bright green. And I'm just going to go ahead and just drop in some leaf shapes. They're really just little oval shapes. And you can cluster them. You can add a little bit more of the Hansa yellow to some, some of the leaves so that they're not all the same green. You can have some yellow green leaves and some blue green leaves and some mid-tone green leaves. And you're just going to put those all around the little heart, just like we did the flowers, just randomly here and there, wherever you want to fill in with some leaves and make it look more lush. Now the last thing, or some of the last things we're going to do is just add some shadow work. So I'm taking that same yellow that I used on his tummy and around his eyes, and this time it's heavily concentrated pigment, not that much water, about the consistency of regular milk. And I'm just going to add some shadows on that chest so that it's not so flat looking. And I'm also going to take a watery version of the brown and just go over their wings and their little top caps, their little designs on their forehead and head, and just sort of blend that in and soften it up so that it's not so prominent. And I'm taking a darker color and just separating the two's bodies, just doing a little line down there between their wings, and then a little shadow where her little head is leaning up against his head, and a shadow under their chins with some of that darker brown or medium brown. And there you go. You have got two of the cutest little owls ready for high, uh, for um, Valentine's Day. You make a cute little card for somebody or just a cute little uh, home decor. You just sit it in a little easel. It'd be just as cute as can be. I'm just darkening up some of those shadows. And it bled into his little tail. So I just picked it up with a thing. So... I think those are beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.